Radio Tubers. We the world's best camera angle. What are we doing apart from listening to cars drive past and with some poor lighting? I want to run a load test. So for the next 24 to 48 hours, 36 hours, whatever it takes, I'm not going to charge the batteries at all. I'm going to disconnect and turn everything off. Uh, I've got a little laptop set up down here so I can do screen capture. Now I just have to plug a few things in, reset a few things on the Batrim software, and then we can get this done. Wish me luck. Last time I tried this, I forgot to turn the charger on for the laptop. Go figure. It's got 480 and 650 batteries in it. I didn't want them charged. Kind of odd. Right, let's do this. Right, what do we need? Firstly, we have a laptop with the Jehu light glaring in the background. So we've got to turn the solar off. Now I've got the solar hooked up through the pip at the moment. Everything else has been changed, all behind it. So move that out. We tucked up all the wires and stuff like that. So now when we push this back, it all looks so neat and tidy, which I really like. Right, let's get back to this. So basically with the Batrium software, go to the toolkit down here. Now the beauty part about this is you can have it running in multiple places. Now down the bottom, little icon just there means it is wireless, but we need to do some system changes. So we'll grab the USB cable, plugs in there. Rightio, so now we've plugged that into there. We're going to have to go to drivers. Oh no, there we go, the drivers popped up, so there's a little USB symbol there now. So now if we go to menu, telemetry, uh, go to daily session, go to reset session, it's reset. Now if we go to tools, do a snapshot re report, and we'll extract a report, and we want to set that to hourly, close that out, snapshot report, hourly, okay, so let's confirm that's done. Now it's almost five o'clock as you can see on the little system time down here. And I click it to grid, so we're solar only. Um, we go utility only, that'll make sure that we don't do anything. And then go to SBU mode. Apply, a little click. Close. So now we're in battery mode. And then drawing from the batteries. And we've got a couple hundred watts there drawing at the moment. So we go back to here, menu, chart, right here, let's run, let's run for the next couple of days and see what happens. Okay guys, well the inverter just minutes ago was clicked off um, and the time is 8 o'clock in the morning. So that means this was a 64, 63 or 64 hour test. Um, and we drew down 530 amp hours. There's actually more than that, it was almost 540 just a minute ago but it must have been because it's not under load anymore, it sort of reset itself because I've got the capacity set to 530. As, as, as another side note, with these um, with these low cells, I don't know if that one's going to work, but this one still should. If you have a look here, 
the long ones actually let you know. It's really hard to see, but they flash red. So the one beside it obviously doesn't flash red, they just flash green, and they flash red. And that is, well that one there is um, eight, and this one's 36, and that's doing it as well. So there's a visual representation of a low cell, high cell, or whatever else. Well, there we go, tubers. That test is done. 63 hours, 29 kilowatt hours, and a lot of editing in that video trying to get it down. Because of the way I did it, I learned from it and moved forward. Had a few problems, lost 12 or so hours of, um, of screen capture, unfortunately, due to a Windows 10 update, but it'll come out at the end. Towards the end of the video, I changed the screen scaling a little bit, that's why it looks a little bit different. Just so I could see where the bottom of those packs were, those two packs that were really bad. Those two packs will be changed out. Once I've changed them out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge the battery to 4.2 volts. I am going to perfectly balance the batteries, and then we're going to see if we can do the 40 kilowatt hour load test. I am stoked to see if I am on the money with what this can do. So tubers, that's not bad from recycled laptop batteries that were, well, let's face it, they were already in the bin and I'm running my house from them. Thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. Don't forget to hit that comment button if you've got any questions or concerns about what I'm doing. The next video that'll be directly uploaded after this one will be of this charging back up again. Just a time lapse, so it took about 12 hours to, to charge back up again. And once it was charged up, I left it running the rest of the night at one or two amps just to try and balance them off and continue. Um, I don't know if anybody's noticed the addition, but that pack is still not properly balanced with the other pack. So tubers, thanks very much, and I'll see you on the next one.